Let's see where we spawn in. We did Cassandra Lynn for the... Oh. Hey guys, it's Cass and welcome back to my channel. We are getting started in Minecraft 1.18. And I did Cassandra Lynn to start. Let's get our spawn. Okay, there's our spawn. And this is actually my second 1.18 of load in. The other one put me out. There's a jungle, a swamp and a jungle. The other one started me in a bunch of ice and I did casserole for it and I couldn't find anything 1.18 related. Everything around me was ice, but I found a mushroom island. So it's up for debate which one I'm gonna do, but in typical Minecraft fashion, we are starting with getting our wood. I'm hoping through this adventure I will only be building things underground to really explore the cave side of the caves and cliffs or in the side of a mountain. I don't want to be building anything kind of out in the open that's super visible. We're just going for uh, this and this and that's it and we're gonna take out the sheep so we can have a bed and some food already and i'm gonna get one of these flowers i think this makes light blue if i remember correctly Yeah, light blue dye. Beautiful, we have a bed. So, we spawn in a swamp next to a jungle, and I see some kind of cave, or cave, a cliff up over there. My goal, like I was saying this time though, is to be living underground, be building things underground. Let's not get lost though. We're going east, so we'll want to come out going west. Unless I find something really awesome in here. Take some cocoa beans so we can always replant them. Geez, there's a lot of ocelots. <clears throat> Start out early game, getting some leather and some meat. Let's see if we can at least get some saplings, since we don't know where we'll settle. Get some jungle saplings and take cocoa. I don't really have any other specific plans for this series. I just want to see what I can accomplish. And see, honestly, what kind of things we could build. Be more adventurous in this than I am in my hardcore. I haven't fought the dragon or anything in my hardcore yet. I haven't even barely touched the nether in there, so I'm hoping to be a little bit more adventurous here, but also enjoy the early game, because that's kind of my favorite part. And my goal is that it won't be over even after. I need to get some... Uh, stone but even after finding the dragon fighting the dragon and everything um, you know that's not gonna end my series I saw oh there we are so we did get one jungle sapling at least I would like four but I think the next most immediate thing to do is be getting some stone. And it looks like we'll be spending our first night 
on the edge of the birch biome, hoping to get a birch sapling before we move along. I'm hoping to be more risky because I don't have to worry about dying. I mean, I don't want to die, obviously, because I don't want to be super far away from my stuff, but I'm like hopeful that it'll just come about with more opportunity and adventure. Yes, iron! So it won't be, you know, I won't be as worried. And like I said, I think my goal, oh my god, it's like the only place they can spawn. My goal, I think, is to, oh, this looks so cool though. Look, at it is just, that's instant death. There's no way around it. And I don't want to blow it up. This is like such a cool place with this overhang. That'd be such a good place for a first build, but I'm not going in there with that. Hi, zombie. You're the only one that sees me. Do you think that we could take them on with just an axe? Because I think we should try. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, let's be smart. Taking all of those guys on with just an axe, we all know that's not gonna work. Monster hunter! I should, at the very least, <laughs> make myself a shield. Because look at how many of them are spawning. I kind of think this is where I want to build. <sighs> I'm going to die, though. It seems like a lot of them have tried to start migrating away. Chill, done. I don't have enough iron for armor. <gasps> this is scary. It's the skeletons. There are so many of them. I think that's going to be the most difficult part of lighting any of this up. Okay. Yeah, come out here. Just burn. You're fine. It's cool. Okay, I will see you guys after I get this cleared out a bit. Okay, so let's step back and take a look. I think we need to get rid of this little hill right here, but then that should be the perfect platform. So let's get set up right here with our goodies. That way I can start cooking some more of this meat too. So there it is with that hill removed. And I think we're gonna take off this one and this right here. We cut all of this back over here, those two hills. And I think, I wish I had silk touch cause I think I'm gonna make my little starter house right here. And it would be so cool if I could make it a mushroom, but not that lucky yet. So now we need to figure out what type of starter home we want to build. But first, I am going to go take a peek on the other side of this hill. Let's make an axe to go with us first. And let's go take a peek. Hi, piggy. Oh. 
baby zombie. That's cool. Not. It's just swamped that way. This way is like a tall spruce forest, I believe. There's not really anything that way. And then this is more just dark oak. There's a village. So I'm glad I came to peek. I'm building right in between there. There's a village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can get a ton of mushrooms. Oh my goodness, look at all the babies. <laughs> Let's start at one end. Gosh, this is big. Ooh. You don't see me taking these. Just borrowing them. Yes, potatoes, spruce trees. Let's take everything. Oh. Armor. Are you kidding? Heck yeah, I got pants and boots. That's huge. People can never get in and out of their homes. <laughs> like, ever. Crafting table here. Cool. Bread, emeralds. I didn't need to steal the pumpkin. I'll plant all this stuff. Heck yeah. Really want that purple bed, but I don't really want to take theirs. Okay, and then... You can come out, kitty. Nothing but a baby in there. Gosh, this is huge. <gasps> That's a full piece of... I have full iron armor. I have full iron armor. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. That's huge. Here, we'll put these back for you. Aww. I'm sorry it doesn't really have anything. I just stepped on your fire. I have full iron armor from this village. I have never found a full set of iron armor before. Stone cutter. This is nice. This is interesting, even though it doesn't have anything in here right now. That's a cool little pen. Tons of grindstones around here. Iron pickaxes. Obsidian. Damn, this was a great village. I couldn't have gotten any better luck than that. Well, I watched a video while I was eating lunch. A Minecraft video, to be exact, that brought up the point that where, I guess I could take this pumpkin back, that where, um, where, what do you call it, where this azalea tree is currently dying, <laughs> they go down and the roots spread so there will be more rooted dirt below it. On top of that is there will be a lush cave. I forgot that they had said that. You dig straight down, like look, this is all rooted dirt. I'm gonna sit here and get more. Like it's all rooted dirt that it spreads and down below is going to be a lush cave, especially if there is actually the lush cave right below this. Well, not right below this, but right below here if I end up digging straight down. Um, I supposedly will be able to get directly to one. So I would love to do that because I think it would be really cool on top of using the mossy cobble here to be able to hang what's the word I'm looking for to be able to hang 
what is it called? Glowberries. <laughs> to be able to hang the glowberries over there. So that has me kind of excited. But I want to grab a bunch of these so that I could start working on a starter house of some kind. So let's take these back, try to figure out some kind of design, and we will get our first house started. That's as far as we'll probably get in this episode. But then, especially because I got this full set without having to do any work in the village right over there, um, next we'll be taking care of this. I can't wait to dig into a lush cave and see how much rooted dirt I can get, but that will come after. Let's take this back and get started. I'm a little torn between do I want to do spruce or do I want to do dark oak since I'm in the dark oak forest. I will probably end up doing dark oak, but let's get back over there and see how we get going. Okay, so I'm chopping down more trees than I thought I was going to. Um, but I think I have a plan of... Let me pull these up real quick, actually. I think I have a plan of making these two trees actually form my front entryway. Um, so I might actually end up leaving this one. I think I just wanted it to be thinned out a bit. Have these grow for my front entryway and then build my house around it with the mossy cobble and the dark oak logs. But I need these to grow first. I only have nine bone mill and I'm not like... <gasps> she a fatty. Okay think we need to just think about it a bit. Trim that up a bit. I might be able to make it work. Let's see. Here's the before. So here's the after. Make that our entryway. I would love and want to get um... We need to make shears, basically. I think I have... Let's do that real quick. Just two quick seconds. Okay, let's get some red mushrooms because I think it would be cool to grow some around up over here and I want to get some brown ones and then we'll start laying out our house I think I'm gonna cut through this real quick like totally not necessary but I think it would be nice to be able to run over there to the lush cave hopefully I have enough materials on me I probably don't Let's see where we go. Okay, so we could always expand this out further, but at least it gives us like a direct, semi-direct route. <laughs> at least it gives us a semi-direct route over here to where we're actually building so we could go through this instead of having to go around
So guys, I think this is where we are going to end the first episode. Um, I did get some sheep together over there. I did start trying to grow and place out some mushrooms and some flowers to try to liven this place up a bit. I do want to try to maybe grow some more of these so it kind of blends in a little bit more. I think I found something I'm semi-happy with for the door. Um, it's just a little starter house. I do want to get more red carpet, but I need to get more wool. And then I don't have anything in any of these except for this. I don't know why I made two of these, but I need to start planting a field. I'll get that done in the next episode. Um, but then up here, I also made a little red bed and this will just be where my important stuff goes. Um, And then I think I'm going to kind of straighten up this situation right here. And this is where I'm probably going to plant my fields kind of all through this back area where my sugar cane is growing to kind of keep everything behind the house and not have any, um, to not have anything up here besides this with the mushrooms. But that's where we're going to end this episode. I can't wait to get more into 1.18. Next episode, we will be jumping into the lush cave and be gardening and just enjoying the early game because that is genuinely my favorite time in the game. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. 